feel this definitely needs to be brought up. So uh, here is the Lyra. Now, before I get into this, this is just, it's not going to be a long video. I just want to issue kind of a PVA, so to speak. If you get this device, I, I want you to understand something. So if we take any device, the Oceanus, the Vape Droid, any, any device really, the SX Mini. Okay, now all these, I just want to show you something. So the way that mods work is there's two different connections, right? You have your positive here and then your negative is here. And the only way that these two will engage is when you press the button. Now on a mech mod, you don't want to mix these two together, touch it or whatever. You just don't want to do it because it's going to short. That's not something to do. So without me touching this button right now, you see that the SX Mini is on. If I touch this button on the side, it does nothing. You know why? Because there's nothing on here. It's not reading anything as firing, okay? Because it's not engaged. It's not active, so to speak. It's not hot. Take this vape joint, same situation again. Now, I guess I could test the theory and hold down. I don't know if I want to do it on the vape droid. I'll do it on that. I don't know if I want to do it on the SX Mini either. Um, let's do it on the Oceanus since it's kind of affordable. So here's the Oceanus. You see that there's, let's turn that on. That is on 5.1 volts. So if I touch the two together, you see no sparking? Because again, it's not active. It's not active. So if I, I don't know what's gonna happen if I do this. This technically should short if I do this, but if I touch the center pin and the side, shorted, see that? So basically it picked it up and it said, no, no, this isn't gonna work and it's fine. It's not overheating, battery's not venting. That's the chip doing what it's supposed to do. Now, Lost Vape is known for making really, really good products, but what I present to you is the Modified Lyra. This is not something that's really out yet for availability. Well, at least not that I'm aware of. Uh, and I wanna show you something. So right now the mod is on. It's locked. If we unlock the device, five clicks. It is now unlocked. 20 watts, if I put anything on this, it really doesn't matter what I put on this. Nothing works, right? Like nothing at all works. This is on, fire it, nothing. Check atomizer, right? Take, it really it doesn't matter what I use, take another one. Check atomizer. Just to show you, no jump cuts. Well, there's not going to be any jump cuts at all in this video. Here's the Oceanus. Take this. Same build, same thing. So we see that nothing works on this, but uh, this is what I find pretty amazing. So we understand the concept of how these work, or not so much the concept. We understand the method of uh, the way these function. So check this out. There's, you can see I'm clearly not pressing the button. It doesn't say no atomizer. You fired it again. Okay, it's active. I'm just gonna let that time out, but not even gonna do that. I'm not gonna do any kind of trickery, right? There is your fire button here. Here's the screwdriver. It is on, no jump cuts. Watch this. Did you see that? Let me bring it in just a little bit closer. Watch. Do you see this? Right, explain. So that means that this connection is hot at all times. It's hot. Now, this device is brand new. Out of the box from Lost Vape. Now, I don't know if anybody brought this up to them, but uh, the funny thing is, is when that happens, nothing happens on the screen. Let me show you here. So here it is again. We're just going to take this and I'm just going to tap, right? Make sure this is active. Watch the top and the screen. Nothing happens. Now you see all these sparks. Now, technically that is a short, like it's shorting. I don't understand 
I don't understand why this would be hot at all times, but when you put a dripper on it or a tank, it's it's not um it's not active. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I just want to see something. I have a feeling. What is that? That is um. That is a Torx screw. I don't know if I have a Torx screw that will work with that. Stand by. I should. I should, I should, I should. Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna take this apart because I just wanna see something. Screws are, the batteries are out of it. Again, normally I would never do this. But I just want to see something. As to why it would be shorting out. Now, you can see in there, there's absolutely no moisture whatsoever. Wiring looks totally fine. There's no shorts, good solder joints. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. But yet, it shorts. And doesn't function. Hmm. Well, there you go. Now, I don't normally do technical videos, nor do I care to, but uh, this is something that I don't want to say is extremely dangerous because the chip is not allowing it to do anything, but it's a very, very faulty device. So, Lost Vape, there you go. There's your video, and I will plug this right on up into YouTube as we speak to get this rolling. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Can't say I've ever seen a device do that. Actually, I'll take that back. I have seen a DNA do this, but the wiring was way off. Now, I'm sure there's going to be someone that is a machinist. Not a machinist. That's not the right thing. I'm sure there's someone that works with electronics that can further validate what is going on. You see the solder joints. The solder joints are super, super good. I don't... I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Right there, you see that? What the fuck is that? That is like this right here. I don't know what that is. Either way, um, I don't think, almost looks like that's where the arcing took place, but that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Well, there is a technical video for, video for you. Wish I could give you a better answer, but I just, I can't. Once again, that is the Lost Vape Lyra. The Ultim. Let me see the Ultim one. Ryan, let's try something else. That is the red and black one. We're going to try the Ultim one in the same scenario exactly. So if the Ultim one does it, then we can validate that all Lyras are doing that. Here is the Ultim one, same one from the review. Negative. Positive. Pulls it up. Turns on fine. Five clicks. Here we go. Let's see. Ready? Let the music make noise. Yep. Huh. That was one time. Now what probably happened is that shorted the fuse inside. Let's see. So we can validate that if that's it. That is the problem. So if you get your device and it stops working, that's why. It's because there's a fuse inside like there is on a DNA, and as you realize or as you notice here, it no longer is sparking. Nothing. No. I don't know. There you go. So that is a defective product. 
with the Lyra. Just keep that in mind if you're gonna buy one of these devices, that this may be an issue unless they address it. And I'm not quite sure if they're going to address this or not. Hopefully they see the video. And there they are again. There they are, right there. Yeah, that is what it is.